Down here, bottom left, we have our Protoss player. He is... One prime. I can get my voice to go really high like that. That's not even a sound effect. I just turned my beautiful voice into a girl's voice. Up here is... Kidex Genius. So, what will Hung and Prime do this time? Hard to say. Uh, you know, he's he said many times he does like macro games, and I think that could be a good choice. After what we saw him do when he was so far behind, I feel like he could outplay Kyrix in a long game. Uh, so it could be smart to go for that. But at the same time, on this map, as I've said countless times, it is a great map for a four warp gate push. Oh yeah. The the natural is actually so hard to defend. It's it's a ridiculously hard thing to do, so we'll have to just see what he chooses to do, man. He does spot the probe going by. May put up his pounds before he does the forge, if that's what he wants to do. Yeah, that is an option. Nope, I'm gonna go for a gateway. <clears throat> Two drones coming out. Now, by the way, in a recent patch, Blizzard fixed the sliding work you just did, so you could actually micro your drones against this yeah. probe and kill it. Before it, they, everything kind of slid around like it was uh, on ice or whatever. Yeah, it was like drift, drift racing. That's <laughs> what it's called. You know, when your car just slides around the corner. That's what it looked like. Is it drifting with the car? Drifting. That's it. Drift oh, racing. I don't own a car out here, and I don't race. All the cool kids are like, "Lol, or toast." Lol, or toast. You don't know what it's like. called. It felt like it was the ice level in Mario. Yeah, you know, absolutely. The character was slipping around. You couldn't catch that probe, but Blizzard fixed it. Blizzard's been doing a great job patching this game. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. By the way, if you're just now joining us, we will be at BlizzCon. Mm -hmm. Casting away, so come say hi, show some love. That's right. For those of you asking, we have replacements coming in. And we'll talk more about that tomorrow. Here is the probe continuing to scout. He may leave. Yes, he will. Looking like it's going to be a warp gate rush. Unless he hides a pylon and goes for void rays. One zealot blocks this hallway here. Nothing can fit through these structures. This area here. So he makes a small hallway. Like this. Alright, now... This is actually really interesting. Uh, if we could just click on the Nexus real quick. Here we go. You see something cool? Oh. He's saving up a lot of Chrono Boost. I think uh, a possibility what we might see is endlessly Chrono Boosted uh, Warp Gates. Now, you can do some sick, sick rushes with this. Where if you Chrono Boost it non-stop, you actually have a ridiculous <clears throat> amount of Zealots and Sentries there. So fast. As if Zerg doesn't know it's coming, he will just die to it. And again, look at the surface area that the Zerg has to defend from. You can get all the way back in here, or go around from this angle, or even go up here into the ramp, which of course allows you access to the main. Now, we haven't seen a probe go up to lay down a pylon for this super fast uh, warp gate rush, so looks like he won't be doing the one I'm thinking of, where it's actually ridiculously fast, and if you drone your natural, you lose. Well, it depends. He might um, you know, not be able to do it because his probe's been out here on the map. So that is a great move by the Zergling. Slow that down. And in fact, he's just going to go ahead and warp gate expand. All right. Yeah, this is a good build. Yeah, a very good build, especially when you feel you're better than your opponent. It's quite safe to do it off three warp gates. Zerg is pretty hard pressed to kill you. Zerg, gonna try to scout here. What will he see? Metamorphosis complete. Metamorphosis is complete. We do know that. Um, he sees the three gates. That's actually all he needs to see. Turns around. Ling's coming here to attack. Four sentries. Maybe be able to use up some force fields. Very good. I'm just oh, away. nice. Three force fields used up. That's great. And if you can make him cancel the Nexus, that type of move is absolutely great with these speedlings. Unfortunately, he did not get him to cancel. But when you do, it just it feels pretty awesome, basis. It really does. This is a um, nice play here, and he's going to push out. Oh! That almost had a trap was, there. Yeah, that was a blunder, actually. 
the sentry uh, energy, I believe, at this point is more important than those few surgeries. He's going to go around. He's going to try to get some more force field energy out. He knows that he's itching for some force fields. Does get one. Make it another one. Take, whoops, excuse me, lost control of the mouse. As you can <laughs> see, the sentries do not have a lot of energy right now. This is the one with the most. Can only make one force field. 22 Zerglings being produced on that production tab, as well as coach speed. So, Kyrix is actually one of these hyper-aggressive Zergs. It's like watching July Zerg yeah. back in 04. Like, just, he wants to kill Hanan so badly. It's like, why won't you die? And here he goes, surrounding some stalkers. That's a start. Taking out three stalkers pretty big, and these sentries oh. out in the middle of nowhere. Pulling back through the cannon. Not enough, um, not oh, enough no. energy here. It actually managed to work. Hongan, this might be a huge upset. Can't believe what I'm seeing, Tasteless. He's taking out probes. Backs up again. Take a look at these sentries. They do not have enough energy for a force field. They will have one yep, shortly afterwards here. You know, uh, he can choose to keep pressuring with the roaches and the lings, and he may actually be able to just straight up kill at this point. Yeah, I think you're right. It's definitely a possibility. Of course, he has other options as well. He could go ahead and expand again. But uh, as Looks we've like seen from Kyrix, he loves to attack, man. Roach speed is almost done. A lot of roaches being produced, a few zerglings as well. Only one possible guardian shield or force field right now. Yeah, that is not now, a good thing. This is actually going to crush him. I think we're going to see Hongan Prime eliminated in the round of 64. Remember, those roaches have a lot of range, so force field not quite as good. Uh, good force field there. Still, like, trapping these roaches. Yeah, but for how long and at what price? At what price, so Joseph is at what price? Well, More units on the way down here. Zerg expanding is, over here. This is not looking good. Well, I'm sure everyone at home can see that already with their own two eyes. Uh, a lot of speedlings and roaches coming in. Roach speed is done. He's got oh. just so many units. It looks like Hongan is going to be eliminated. 2 0. Upset. Huge upset. Kyrix just slam izzles. Hongan Prime. No great interview from Hongan today. We hope you guys ask some questions here. Or I bet they did. I, yeah, I would not be surprised. Yeah. Hongan Prime is such a favorite. That was, yeah, I know. You got Damn. top eight last season. Eliminated by a hyper aggressive Zerg this season. Um, you know, the only thing I'm a little bit worried about for Kyrix going on, he showed us that, hey, I'm being aggressive no matter what. And <laughs> I'm being aggressive no matter what. And his next round opponent is going to look back at these games and say, okay, I have to play so safe against this guy. And if he doesn't have more depth, have more depth than he showed us in this series. He's going to be out in the round of 32. So hopefully he has some more depth into his game. We'll have to see. But for now, he is the king, man. He took out Hongan Prime, a great Protoss player. He really abused um, the Protoss' inclination to just force field mm. to feel safe. He had a lot of sentries. But actually, when he saw him make that three-way force field trap and he got out of there, I think that's when he knew. He said, oh, all right. Mm. You want to play? Okay. I got, I got your book. You want to play? You want to go? He's like, you want to do this? So he ran in there and just ran and overwhelmed him. Yeah, you know, Hongan, he was really sloppy coming out with some extra units early when he's already used up so many force fields. He did not have a very good anti-ling army there, got those yep. all those units surrounded, lost a lot of sentries, didn't yep. even block when he ran back through the pylon. Didn't even block there with a sentry. Left a little hole, Zerglings ran in, surrounded everything. That's it. Kyrix is the victor. Hongan is out. Can't believe my eyes, guys. We're going to wind this up. We have one more <clears throat> best of three. My voice box can't wait to cast that one. Yeah, it's actually a pretty exciting one. I think it's Hope Torture, isn't it? Hope Torture is here. I, hope I saw it's the him. Torturful I said, one. Yeah, I did. I just, I just saw him actually. I was saying hi to him in between oh, okay. other games when I was getting some water for cast. So it is him. Um, so uh, we're going to wind this out. But get ready for an interview with Artosis. We'll That's be right. back in just a minute. That's right. We're going to go right away after this one. Yep. So, uh, you don't have much time, folks. You don't have much time at all. If you need more chips, yell to your mom. That's right. Mom! Mom bring some food. chips! It's a cart, man. <laughs> all right, guys, we'll be right back. We have our player ready here, so I'm going to sit him down here and get this interview going right now. Hi. How's it going? 